Hello G1E boys and girls, parents. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. We're back in school now, but we have the memories uh, that we can uh, share with others, letting them know what a great time we have at Thanksgiving and all the yummy foods uh, that we ate, all the family that we got to see. Well, uh, here in G1E, we are carrying on with our adventures in the Bible. We are yet in the New Testament, almost done, because this is called Bible in a Year, and guess what? The year is almost up. As a matter of fact, uh, we don't have enough weeks in the year to finish our year in a Bible. So we have some of our videos on Wednesday nights at the G1 Elementary Facebook page. So be sure that you check out the rest of our Adventures in the Bible on Wednesday nights at the G1 Elementary Facebook page. So boys and girls, let us pray and then we'll get into our lesson today. Are you ready? Repeat after me. Father God, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for bringing us all here together through technology. Thank you that we have it available so we can continue seeing one another and so we can continue learning your word. We thank you, God, for our Thanksgiving holiday that we had with our families and our friends. We thank you now that we are back in school and learning uh, so much, so many things that will help us to be the people that you've created us to be because school is so important. And now we thank you uh, for your word. Open our ears, our eyes, our hearts, and our minds to see you, to hear you, to learn all about you, and then go tell somebody. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, boys and girls, um, we are learning that we are God's treasure. If you had a treasure chest, what would be in your treasure chest? If this were a pirate's treasure chest, what kind of things do you think would be in it? Probably gold, maybe some pearls, some rubies and diamonds. Um, coins, gold coins, there would be lots of treasure inside of a pirate's treasure chest because those things are very valuable and special to pirates. But you may have your own treasure chest just like I do. In my treasure chest, I have things that are very valuable, special, and important to me. For example, I have a silver necklace here with some hearts and little diamonds. I have a bracelet that my husband bought for me in Mexico when we were on vacation. And I have a ring that my husband bought me when we were in Jamaica. Lots of good things in my treasure chest, but the most important thing in my treasure chest is a picture of my family because they are the things that I treasure the most. Do you have a treasure chest? If so, I wonder what's in yours. Maybe you have some candy. <laughs> Maybe you have some little jewelries that your parents may have bought you for Christmas or your birthday. Maybe you have some money in there. Well, uh, everybody has a treasure chest and in there, there are things that are very valuable, special and important to them. In today's lesson, we're learning that we are God's treasure. Uh, if we look in the book of 1 Peter, we will see that Peter actually wrote this. Do you guys remember uh, Peter? Uh, we've done Bible stories learning how Peter was so excited to see Jesus and he jumped out the boat to go see him. This is the same Peter who in the garden when they were arresting Jesus, Peter cut off the, the soldier's ear because he didn't want them to take Jesus. That's the same Peter who wrote first Peter. And when was it written? It was written about 25 years after Jesus returned to heaven. Why did Peter write this letter? He wanted to tell uh, Christians all over to remind them to live holy lives even when things were hard. Now our actual scripture comes from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. It says, but God chose you to be his people. You are royal priests. You are a holy nation. You are God's special treasure. 
You are all these things so that you can give him praise. Say it with me, boys and girls. Say, I am God's special treasure. If God had a treasure box, guess who would be in it? You would. And why? Because you are his treasure. God says that you are very valuable. You are very special and important to him. If you were the only person in this world, God would have sent Jesus to die on a cross for you, even though you were just one. Why? Because you're so special to him. And how do I know that? Because in the Bible, in in uh, John chapter 13, oh, John 3, 16, God says that for he loves the world so much that he sent his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. That's how important you are to God. Sometimes when we go throughout life, things happen and we feel like we are not important. We feel like we are not special. We are not, not valuable. Like, for example, I remember uh, when I was in about fourth grade, uh, we were having indoor recess. And the, the, the recess aides uh, had us running, doing relay races and all kinds of races. Well, guess what? If, I, if you were running against a boy, guess what? The boy was probably going to beat you. And I remember it's running past this boy named Tracy White. I'll never forget his name. And he laughed and he laughed and he laughed at me because he was so much faster. He would actually run circles around me. And I felt terrible. Inside, I felt that I wasn't important because I couldn't run as fast as him. But guess what? Ha ha! They had us do crab racing. Guess who won? I did. And so I felt special. I felt important. But now that I'm older, I've learned that performing and doing things uh, is not what makes us special. What makes us valuable, special, and important is that we are God's treasure. God says that he actually chose us. Chose us for what? Chose us to be a part of his family. God created us. He gave us our, our skin color, our eye color, our hair color. He put inside of us. Uh, different things that he wants us to to use in the world to help people uh, like maybe um, helping boys and girls with their math maybe being very friendly to them and helping them understand how important and valuable and special they are uh, God chose us he he created us and like I said he cho he chose us to be a part of his family he says that we are the apple of his eye he says that we are his beloved. And no matter what we do, boys and girls, God will always love us. We can make mistakes, but guess what? He still loves us. If we do something wrong, we can come to him and ask him to forgive us and give us strength to do what is right. And he will. He never, he never rejects us. He always accepts us. And not for the things that we can do. He accepts us because he created us. He is the one who made us. And that's why he loves us so much, boys and girls. So I want you to know today that you are God's treasure. He handpicked you. He chose you to be a part of his family. And why? Because he loves you. Now, what he does want you to do is go tell somebody else because there's other people in the world who don't know how valuable and special and important they are to God. And when they do, it's as though they're wearing a crown on their head, a crown of confidence, a crown knowing that they are special in God's eyes. And no matter what kind of hard times we have in life, it helps us to carry on it helps us to be strong and it gives us courage to tell others that they are God's treasure, that they are valuable, special, and important. So say it with me one more time, boys and girls. Say, I am God's treasure. All right, very good. Now go tell somebody whether you gotta pick up the phone, write a letter, uh, ask your parents if you can FaceTime a friend or call them. Do whatever you got to do, but make sure you tell somebody. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you. Have a good one.